going to make this cookie cane and for that I'm going to start out with some bread colored clay. I am going to uh, roll and squeeze this into a thick uh, cane log, call it what you want, and I'm going to half it so that I have two parts of this. Then I rolled out some black clay into a really thin cane and I'm going to make a hole at the side of these two pieces of bread colored clay and I'm going to put the black cane through the hole. And I'm cutting off the black excess clay. I put the two pieces together like I show here. Then I took some orange clay and put a tiny bit of red in there. I mixed that together and rolled it out on a setting 7 on my pasta machine. So it is thin but not that thin. I cut out a red stripe of this and the excess clay I am rolling into a tiny cane. And I'm going to put this into the gap there is between the bread colored clay at the middle here. Uh, look at what I'm doing, that's easier. Then I am wrapping the stripe around my little creation here and I'm making sure that it's not overlaying but that it is all the way around. Then I'm rolling this cane until it has the right thickness for the small cookies that I want to make.
going to make these into cookies before I am going to bake it. So I'm slicing this cane carefully one by one. I'm only going to make one for you to see how I do it, but I'm going to make the whole cane into these small cookies. I mixed a piece of green clay together with some of my dough colored clay and I got this uh, really nice looking green color for my cookies and I'm going to cut off a tiny tiny bit of this clay and use that for a tiny leaf at the uh, top of the apple. I'm using my toothbrush for making textures into the cookie. Then I'm going to take my soft pastel colors and I'm going to use this golden brown color that I like uh, for cooked things. This one. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of that on my cookie to give it a little baked look. I'm going to make the rest of my cane like this and then I'm going to bake everything. Then I like these kind of chocolate, so I made the box into a print file in miniature size. First of all, I printed it on normal print paper, and now I'm just going to cut out these pieces. Then I used this plier, I really don't know the name of it, but it's all flat. So I put this little piece of paper in there and then I can bend the paper right where I want it to. So I can make this little box for the chocolate. Then I have this piece of foam board where there is no paper on and I'm going to cut pieces out of that. You need a piece that is one and a half centimeter long and it needs to be four millimeters wide.
Then I glue this little piece of the wrapper of the chocolate box around the piece of foam board. And that's all there is to these small cute chocolate uh, boxes. I'm going to leave a link in the info box below for the print file to these small chocolate boxes. And there you have two easy Christmas crafts and we are going to use these in the next video so don't put them too far away because uh, you will like this one, I hope. Anyway, thank you for watching and happy crafting! Mm -hmm.